Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with Rod Placo. Rod's going to be in Pittsburgh telling jokes. Rod, when? Yeah, I'll, I'll be in Pittsburgh on November 24th. That show is at 9.30 p.m., and it's at the Unplanned Comedy Warehouse in Pittsburgh, PA. All right, that's Black Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Go get, get a your cheap sh- TV, then come hang out with me. Well, that's right. <laughs> Go fight someone for a flat screen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guess what? So, you know, everybody's sick and tired of uh, one party rule, right? You know what I mean? Like, you know this. Hey, look, 60 percent of the House Democrats vote for a defense budget even bigger than Trump's. Hey, just in, Republicans and Democrats on Senate Banking Committee reach agreement on proposal to ease banking regulations. Hey, as California Dems block a single payer bill, the Virginia Socialists just defeated a top Republican by pushing for a state based single payer system. So you get the general gist of what I'm saying is the Democrats are a party of pro-corporate business MFers <laughs> and they don't stick up for the little man and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the head of the DNC, who's in bed with payday lenders for F's sake. So, Can we point out a quick side note that that Virginia socialist was told he was too progressive by the Democratic establishment and then and, won anyway? And beat the number three Republican in the state mm-hmm. in, a, in a district gerrymandered for the Republican to win. Yep. So now it should be no surprise when you see a headline like this. This Democrat is about to give payday lenders a big boost. This is Democrat Senator Mark Warner. He envisions a future where anyone can get a predatory loan at 390% interest. That's a good Democrat. That's called, that's a Debbie Wasserman Schultz kind of Democrat. Yeah, huh? well, I guess he assumes like people are going to live longer. Yeah. So we want to make sure there's no chance they'll ever pay this off. So let, let's get it up to 380. <laughs> then we're really knocking it out of the park. This is from Think Progress. A little over a year ago, Senator Mark Warner, Democrat from Virginia, addressed a small audience of political insiders at the Brookings Institution, one of the most prestigious think tanks in the nation's capital. The government needed to encourage innovation. Entrepreneurs had to be thinking about a portable benefit system, about emergency funding to help people meet unexpected expenses. You know, this is all in lieu of, you know, actually providing things like health care, retirement, and and decent pay to people. This is instead of doing all that, we have to come up with these fucking weird ways of oh, yeah. pre- and putting band-aids on problems so the one percent can continue to extract wealth from workers. And they use all the great buzzwords like innovation. Yes, How innovate. many things that have screwed people over? Innovators. Have been under the, we're going to pass this Telecommunications Act that's going like, to totally gut all protections against media consolidations because it's good for innovation. And it'll enable, enable innovators. You know, that's one of the words that uh, Thomas Frank talks about in uh, Listen Liberal all the mm-hmm. time, that buzzword. It was time to get past the same old debates about government and regulation. This was about change. It was about progress. Warner had seen the future. Remember, Democrat Warner. A year later, that tomorrow has arrived. And the grand financial technology breakthrough, it turns out, is to help payday lenders sidestep basic consumer protection laws. This is his innovation. (laughs) In late July, he introduced the ingeniously titled, quote, Protecting Consumers Access to Credit Act of 2017. Oh, it protects their assets. Their access to get their asses reamed in a predatory <laughs> loan with unlimited interest. The legislation would allow payday lenders to ignore state interest rate caps on consumer loans as long as they partnered with a national bank. So you so got two entities looking out for your interest. You know, yeah. the, 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 the lender, the bank, they all always, always looking out for the consumer. So this is legalizing predatory lending. That's what this is legalizing extraction of wealth from the poorest people in the country by banks. <laughs> Although it has been generally overlooked amid the GOP's stumbling attempt to repeal Obamacare and its aggressive plan to slash taxes for Wall Street, Warner's little bill has a much better chance of making it into law than the Republican Party's marquee effort. This is a Democrat pushing this. Do you understand why we're not Democrats? Can you believe that Chuck Schumer hasn't kicked that guy out of the fucking party? Of course you can, because Chuck Schumer's as big a whore as anybody when it comes to Wall Street cash. 
companion legislation is scheduled for a vote in the House Financial Services Committee on Tuesday, where the bill has the backing of arch-conservative Republican Patrick McHenry and Representatives Greg Meeks, he's a Democrat, and Gwen Moore, another Democrat. Liberal Democrats with a history of sympathy for the financial industry. Man, isn't that tying it up and putting a bow on it? They, they're, they're liberal. They have, they have sympathy for the financial they have industry. For as the, if it's an underdog. They have <laughs> like, sympathy for the richest, most powerful fuck, group of people in the world. <laughs> the financial industry in the United States. I'm worried about them. Me too. I'm worried. <laughs> Warner's Senate version is co-sponsored by Tea Party Darling Senate Pat Toomey and Senator Gary Peters. Holy mother F and mother F. The Democrats are really... Uh, hey, Bernie, this is a great party you're bringing progressives into. This is fantastic. Good work, Bernie. You spend your whole goddamn career bucking the two-party system, and now you actually have power and you use it to prop up this shit show? Shame on you, Bernie. Warner's bill has drawn opposition from consumer groups, including Americans for Financial Reform, the Center for Responsible Lending, and the Consumer Federation of America, along with civil rights organizations, including the NAACP and the Southern Poverty Law Center. But the Democrats are going against them. Do you understand why we're not Democrats? Do you understand why the Democratic Party is a fucking sham? Do you understand why Nina Turner encourages people to run third party? Do you understand why that is? Do you understand why Chris Hedges long time ago realized that Bernie Sanders was sheepdogging people into a fucking graveyard in the Democratic Party? Do you get it now? This is right in, in the open, right in your face. Democrats. And people tell me, hey, talk about something else. Quit talking about the Democrats. What should I talk about? <laughs> hey, let's quit talking about the problem. Hey, would you quit talking about the problem and talking about something else? We want to hear about how awful the Republicans are. No yeah. one's ever touched that before. Yeah, we've never be, done that. Be hey, an innovator. Go back and watch old Daily Show clips or watch the new ones. It's all about how bad the Republicans are. It's all full of it. Go watch old Colbert. Go watch anybody. Go watch Bill Maher. Go watch anybody you want to watch. John frickin' Oliver, who will tell you you can't have... You can't... You can't have free college or quantitative easing for student debt. You can't have that. But you can have the equivalent for bombs with no discussion. Way to go, John. What a motherfucker. <laughs> um, and this is what we're left with. We're left with comedians who prop this shit up. We're left with Samantha B and all the other comedians who prop up the Democratic Party as if they're some kind of savior. Of our country. And let's remember what Dylan Radigan said. The Democrats want you to believe that their party is, of course, wonderful and fabulous and wants to help to save the world and all the rest of this. And they want you to believe that the only problem with the American political system is the Republicans and, more importantly, the corruption of the American political system and the Republicans by the Russians. This, of course, would be the most horrible thing that could come from the current political situation. Because if we allow the Democratic Party to convince anybody ridiculous they've even convinced themselves that the primary issue with the American political process is Donald Trump and the Republicans, that validates their capacity to sustain themselves in a disgusting and corrupt fashion. The reality is the only reason we have Donald Trump as our president and these horrendous Republicans is because of the unadulterated failure and corruption in the Democratic Party. Think about how bad, how unappealing, how offensive Barack Obama and ultimately Hillary Clinton had to be to the American population in order for them to even remotely begin to choose someone like Donald Trump as a better alternative. Think about it, how bad people have to view the level of corruption in the Democratic Party to think of Donald Trump as a remotely preferable alternative. Donald Trump is terrible. The Republicans are offensive beyond comprehension. But the solution is not the Democrats. The solution is a final terminal bypass of these two utterly corrupt political parties. And the Democrats are desperately fighting to try to convince you and everybody else that the only problem is the Republicans and Trump, and that they are quite actually perfect in their own way. 
when they are the ones who are the biggest contributors to the Trump campaign and the Trump problem. So that's why I don't shut up. That's why I don't shut up about the Democrats, because they're the biggest contributor to Trump. You're sick and tired of Trump. So are me. You want to get rid of Trump? So do I. You have a different strategy. Your strategy is to do the same shit that got us Trump. Mine is to do the opposite. I'll stop talking about the Democrats when they stop passing legis sponsoring legislation that fucks over the poorest, most vulnerable people in our society. In 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 the aid of who? Payday lenders. This is the Democratic Party. So people want me to shut up because people, I guess, are adult children of fucking alcoholics and they're tired of hearing about the actual problem. Trump isn't the problem. The Democrat Mark Warner is the fucking problem and those other Democrats who are signing on with them. That's the problem. The problem is we have two parties of pro-business that screw workers and working people. That's the problem. Talk about something else, Jimmy. What are you, a fucking idiot? Yes. Yes. Talk about something else, Ron. Ron, talk about something. Why don't you talk about Trump? <laughs> There's not enough people talking about Trump. Well, Why here's you... the thing. Another thing going on here is that, like, another thing that you're fed, usually by the corporate media, is, is that bipartisanship is something to attain yeah. to. And Lewis Black said it well a long time ago. Lewis Black said, the only thing worse than a Republican or a Democrat is when those two pricks work together. That's... And he's right, because it leads to legislation like this. When they work together, that's who benefits, the 1% in the military industrial complex. And or... right. uh George Carlin has a quote on uh, bipartisan. It, it, uh, I'm, I can't remember it, uh, so I'll butcher it for you. <laughs> um, but it was something like bipartisan is, means that there's an extra heaping helping sh of shit coming your way. <laughs> That's what bipartisan sh means. Mm -hmm. Works. And here we are, and here's Dylan Radigan to, to remind us this is what gave us Trump. This is the sickness inside the system. This is the system. The system's sick. There's not a sickness inside of it. The system is sick. These people are Democrats. Mark Warner's worth $200 million. He's now passing legislation to fuck over the poorest people in the country. Millionaires are now teaming up with predatory lenders to fuck over the poorest people in the country. People he's supposed to be looking out for. Your government is working against you. The Democratic Party is working against you. They're not your friend. Bernie Sanders is doing a shameful thing by sheepdogging progressives into a fucking party that is working as hard as it can to undermine working people. Tom Perez is not your friend. The DNC is not reforming. It's time to save the country, Bernie, and it's time to start a third goddamn party. So please make sure you subscribe. They're making it as hard as possible for people to see our videos. So they're unsubscribing people who are already subscribed. Make sure when you subscribe, you click the bell next to it so you get a notice when our videos come up. A lot of people are saying that they're not uh, giving them notices. So please make sure you do that. They're also demonetizing all our videos. So please make sure, if you can, become a patron. If you can't afford it, if you're on a fixed income, please don't. But if you can afford it, Please buy a T-shirt or a mug or become a Patreon. And we give you, we just gave them like three hours of extra content this week. We gave you a, a live show. We mm -hmm. gave them the live show yep. from Burbank, which was freaking, it was so much fun I had to share it. So I shared it with the premium people, our Patreons. And so there's two ways to become a member. You go through our Patreon or you go through our premium program. Please, if you can, do it. Uh, thank you for your support. Our next live show is November 20th in Hollywood. And our le next live show after that, December 4th in Burbank, California.